and today I'm going to be doing my June wrap up. I read a total of six books in the month of June and I also started two other books that I will be finishing up in the month of July. The first book I read this month was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I really love this book. If you guys do not know, this is a sequel to Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which I read last month that I really, really enjoyed. This series is turning out to be one of my favorites. I did like this one a little bit less than I did like Cinder, but it was nonetheless amazing. I should be uploading my book talk for it very soon. So after I finished Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, I immediately picked up Crass. This book is probably my second favorite out of the three that are out so far, Cinder, Crass, then Scarlet. Even though this is a pretty big book, I read it in a couple days, but I did not want to put down this book. The characters are just so amazing and I'm loving how they're interacting together in all the different elements of each storytell retelling added into each book. It just makes these books so much more amazing. Now that I've finished Crass, I wish that I had read these books so much later in the year because winter comes out in November and it's only July now. I'm hoping to get my hands on Ferris, maybe that'll hold me off until November. The next book I read this month was actually an audiobook and that was Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And I gave this book 4 to 5 stars. It was absolutely embarrassing and hilarious and just lovable, like all contemporaries should be. However, I did have some issues with some of the characters. I couldn't understand why they do certain things, or more accurately, why they wouldn't do certain things. But overall, it was really entertaining, and it was really fun to listen to. The next book I read this month was a book that I've been meaning to read for forever now, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. To be honest, I didn't really like this book that much. I mean, pe everyone's always saying, like, this the first book isn't that great, you have to keep reading to learn to love the characters, and the plotline. I don't know if I can love the characters, right now they're just really, really annoying, or really Really, really creepy or really really morbid but the ending of this book really made up for my issues with it it's leading up to the events that will take place in unravel me which is the second book and it seems like things are going to be picking up and be getting more interesting so I'm kind of interested to see what's gonna happen but at the same time I'm not really blown away by the story I wrote a review of it on Goodreads, which I will link in the description below if you want to read more about my thoughts on it. The last book I read this month was The Unbound by Victoria Schwab. If you guys do not know, this is the sequel to The Archived by Victoria Schwab, which I liked a lot in this book. This book is like 10,000 times better than the first book. This book kind of had like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer kind of feel to it. It was just so good and it dealt with so many hard things and, and life just gets so much more tragic for Mackenzie but at the same time the plot just gets so much more intriguing. I know Victoria Schwab is planning on writing a third book but she hasn't given us a release date or said that she's done with the book so what the heck I, I need another book I need more of Mackenzie and I need more of Wesley I yes Victoria please get on that I was the top of things this month and I also wrote a review for this on Goodreads so if you guys want to hear more about my thoughts on that I will also leave a link to that in the description below so please go check it out the two books that I started this month but haven't yet finished are Miss Bone by Brandon Sanderson everyone says like this is the best fantasy series ever so it's about time I've read it and I'm really enjoying it so far the world in this book is really intriguing the characters have just already been through so much but at the same time there is so much going on it's a little bit confusing and overwhelming things are starting to pick up but I'm hoping that it'll become a little bit more fast-paced once I near the end the last book I started reading this month was Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi this is the second book in Shatter Me series I've only read like a couple pages but I've still started it so it still counts like I said before I'm hoping things will get a lot better in this book I think they will be I've higher expectations for this book because if I'm not on board with the story within a few chapters, I might put it down? I don't know. I don't know. People say this book will just completely change your standpoint on the series and on the characters, so if it doesn't do just that, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the series. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, and in the comments below, let me know what books you've read this month, or if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think about them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yet, are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Are we out of the woods? I'm not out of the woods yet. I, I, I'm not going to be out of the woods for a long time. First book I read this month was...